I'm sure that you're very familiar with the fact that with the advent of online entrepreneurship, which promises huge passive income, many people nowadays want to escape the so-called 9-to-5 rat race. Indeed, it seems that people nowadays don't like to work anymore. Or, to put it bluntly, people have learned to unleash their instinct to avoid work. But do we really need to work? What will happen if people give in to the demand of their instinct and don't go to work? Let us address these age-old questions using Sigmund Freud's philosophy of work. But first, who is Sigmund Freud? Sigmund Freud was the founder of psychoanalysis. He was born in Moravia, but his family moved to Vienna in 1860, where he lived until 1938, when the Anschluss, that is, the incorporation of Austria into the Nazi Reich, obliged him to make a reluctant departure for London. An ambitious student, Freud graduated as a doctor of medicine in 1881 and his early research and publications dealt with anatomy and psychology. In 1885-86, to 86, a modest bursary from his medical faculty allowed him to spend six months in Paris, where he studied at the Salpetria Hospital under Jean-Martin Charcot, widely regarded as the greatest neurologist of his day, and sometimes described as the Napoleon of Neurosis. Like many others, Freud was spellbound by Charcot's ability to use hypnosis to reproduce in his patients the physical symptoms of hysteria. On his return to Vienna, Freud set up in private practice as a specialist in nervous disease. The rest of his career is synonymous with the history of psychoanalysis. Now, the key to understanding Freud's philosophy of work is his theory of instincts. Freud believes that progress in society begins with a systematic repression of the primary instincts of the human person, namely, eros and thanatos. According to Freud, the goal of Eros is the preservation of life, while that of Thanatos is the destruction of life. Freud also believes that Eros and Thanatos are the two mechanisms in the human psyche that persons use in releasing tension. Eros does it through the immediate satisfaction of sensual desires, or to use Freud's own words, sexual desires while Thanatos does it through destruction or death. It is important to note that for Freud, both Eros and Thanatos work under the pleasure principle. Working under the pleasure principle, both Eros and Thanatos demand for immediate gratification. However, Freud argues that granting the instincts immediate gratification or satisfaction is dangerous because it would result in the destruction of society. For example, a boss who is attracted to his beautiful and sexy secretary cannot just hug, kiss, or worse, rape her. Similarly, any person cannot just punch or kill anyone who hurts or insults him. Of course, the boss's act of kissing or raping the secretary, or the person's act of punching or killing anyone who hurts or insults him, is what Freud meant by granting the instincts immediate satisfaction. Indeed, for Freud, we cannot, in principle, conceive of a society where men can just kiss or rape any women they like, or where they punch or kill anyone who hurts or insults them. This is the reason why Freud strongly insists that the instincts must be repressed at all times. 
Thus, Freud argues that progress in society is first and foremost dependent on the repression of the instincts, that is, the repression of Eros and Thanatos. Now, Freud says that work is one of the foundations of society. In fact, Freud believes that any society is founded on the notion of work. As Freud says, men come together, that is, live in society, first because they are forced to do so by economic necessity, and second, because they want to do so to acquire their sexual objects. Work, therefore, is necessary on our part not only for the progress of society, but also for our own self-development and for the actualization of our full potential. However, the instincts always come in the way of efficient work. We have to admit it that sometimes, nay, most of the time, we don't feel like going to work. For instance, if the weather is cold and gloomy, the urge to remain in bed in the morning and the thought of just lying down all day are at its strongest point. And how often do we make excuses to our boss when we don't report on time? Or when being absent? What about procrastination? A pile of work is waiting, and yet we keep on delaying things. Freud said that if we give in to the demand of the instincts, that is, if we don't work, if we keep on procrastinating, society will never progress, and humans will not be able to actualize their full potential. Put simply, if we grant the instinct immediate satisfaction by not working, we cannot put food on the table, clothes on our skin, and roof over our head. In other words, we go starving and families and societies eventually self-destruct if we don't work. Hence, every time we feel lazy, Every time we don't feel like going to work, we better draw a picture of Freud in our mind. We need to get up. We need to work. We need to pick up the discipline because we have a career to develop. We have to make the society a better place to live for the next generation. And most of all, we have a family to feed.